Hakkari and Inda has been secured, but you know who hasn't been secured yet? The vice principal, because no one wants any of that. Run away from her. Actually, don't run away from her, because if you run away, she'll chase after you, because she's a former, like, Olympic athlete. She jumps at you, shoves her fucking tongue down your throat. How is a teacher allowed to do this shit? This show is so fucking crazy. One of the most important girls that I want to meet, finally, is uh, Nano, the Kudre girl from the trailer, but she's not here just yet. We gotta deal with the lull. She was too short. You know, oh, I'm trying to get the book in the library, and then he got it for it. Let's see what's gonna happen in today's reaction. Whose voice? Is this the lolly's perspective? What is this sad princess story? Is this like actually her back? No, you're a high school student. What do you, wait, what do you mean? Maybe she's like a super. Uh, she loves stories and lives in like a world of fiction. So she's like a lonely princess in her mind, <laughs> trying to reach for a fucking book. <laughs> oh, oh. That's another one! Number three. The blushing in this show is insane. Like I said, it just looks like they're perma-nutting. Is she my soulmate? Well, one of the 100s. I did. Come on, we got 100 girls to cover, 12 episodes. Well, I think it's going to be five girls this season, right? Based off the trailers. She's very polite. Aww. What's the little band? Maybe she's some kind of... It's, that can't be the discipline committee, right? <laughs> what is this, some Comey shit? <laughs> what, what? You want me to read it? Okay, this is getting adorable. Oh my god. Can she not talk? Is librarian. Wait, wait. She's not actually mute, is she? Is she just shy or is she actually mute? Bullseye meaning you're right. She's communicating just... Oh, it's, 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 it's just library rules. She's not actually mute, right? Still, this is really cute. She can only speak in terms of the book. <laughs> now you gotta get a different book and try to talk to her with it. Why do you not open your mouth? <laughs> okay, she can't talk. I, she, made, she made a noise. Oh, she's a little shy, a little nervous. No, come back. Oh, direct contact already. No talking in the library! Uh, Echi, Harem, Battle Shonen, Tournament Arcs. That's what I'm all about. <laughs> Dude, how many Ahogas does she have? I, I, usually, a girls only have one Ahoga at the top, right? She has four. Damn. Damn. She takes her job very serious. No. Why don't we read together? Damn. Guess we're not gonna see Hanazono and uh, Inda anytime soon. <laughs> we'll just stay in the library and read with her. It'll be like the... Oh? Oh, who is this? No! Can we borrow a card? Wait, wait! Just stay in here and read if you don't want to check it out. Doesn't that work that way? Hmm? Her book. You want, you want us to read it? She's going to... Yo! This is some... Yuri from Doki Doki Literature Club shit, man. We should read the book together! Lolly. All the names are literally puns based off the archetypes of different character types. Ohana. Yoshimoto Shizuka. I don't know what the pun is, but I'm sure you guys will tell me in the comments. She is very cute. I'll give you that. Yo, are these two just like best friends now? <laughs> oh, you were? You know what we were doing? We were busy flirting with another girl. <laughs> Maybe the lolly is the princess and we're the knight. Oh, she's knighting us! The lolly's knighting us! Oh no! Save the princess from the dragon! Oh! The knight cut the flames! Yo, with animation like that, this could have been like its own like fantasy story if they wanted to. I, I shouldn't be expecting battle scenes from 100 Girlfriends, but you know. Wow. A forbidden love between a knight and a princess. <gasps> no. Run away with the princess. Yes, not to impregnate her. What are you doing? She's going off for her political merits. Yo, he's getting serious about this. 
<laughs> He's actually cheering for the night. <laughs> Could be continued. Well, too. But he got really into this. If he gets really into this, then he's gonna have more common things to talk about the lolly. Oh, she has the main character spot right by the left side by the window. Ooh. Volume two now. Volume two. <gasps> Will she finally talk? Volume two. There it is. Give us it. We gotta know what happens to the knight and the princess. Oh, she can't even look him in the eye. She's so she's so nervous and shy. Okay, I get the appeal of the girl. She's extremely cute. I get it. I get it. Oh, these two are just basically best friends now. They haven't really noticed uh noticed us with a different girl now though. She really won't say anything. When, what is her first actual word to Rentaro gonna be? Like, I love you, Rentaro? What is it? Oh, even her laughs are silent. Why is this little girl pointing towards the book and not talking so fucking cute? Oh my god! Or the way you don't talk, actually. Yeah, how do you know this? You just memorize each line? You have to! If you can converse with somebody based off of simple phrases from the book... Oh, complimenting. This is probably the first time anyone's ever accepted her like this. Unworthy? What kind of person are you then? No, she's never had a friend! Stop it! Stop it! No! She can join our harem and she can have a bunch of friends in the form of our other girlfriends. I'm sure Inda and, uh, sorry, uh, Hakari will also get along with her. Hmm? She's got such a somber look on her face. Give her a head pat, man. Huh? Is he planning on memorizing the book as much as she did? So that he can converse with her in the same way? Wait, what's the plan? We're not gonna do volume two? Oh, look at her. Look at her, man. She got a boyfriend! <laughs> Liar. Cap! Uh-huh. That's that book again. When they first try to go for it, yeah. Ugh, even her ears are blushing, man. Don't give up! You can do it! You're so close! Are you actually? I'm not sure. Actually, that's way too far away. You can't get that. Volume 3. He's not coming back. Maybe she's thinking, did he get tired of me? Oh no! No, he's probably too busy memorizing the fuck out of that book. No, 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 no. Oh no, what does she think? Ah, oh, shit. This is a bad look. He- She doesn't know! Yes, reading the book! Reading the book, but what, what, what is she gonna think if she sees Rentaro hanging out with his two girlfriends? No, he's not fucking guys. Come on. Come on, guys. What the fuck? This is a bad look. Oh, we're, she's getting cucked so hard! She doesn't understand this harem game yet! Oh! Hakari really does go for every strategic play. I think I missed her one. She looks so dis- <laughs> She fucks him up so bad, but this is so bad for her. She probably thinks that Rentaro is just a playboy and there's nothing special between us, but you don't understand. She's actually thinking. No, it's different! They'll die if she doesn't give them affection! No, she ignored them and read the books all the time instead! No, 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 no. No, 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 no. This, this is setting it up. We're, we're setting it up. Is she getting bullied? No! Leave her alone! This mom? What the fuck? This show's getting way too dramatic all of a sudden! Oh my... I thought this show was just gonna be happy fun times. Where the fuck did that dramatic backstory come from? 
No, I believe that Rentaro spent all those nights memorizing volume one. That's why he hasn't been able to see her. That's why he was yawning. He's gonna talk to her the one of these days now. Purely through the book. And she'll know that he's the real deal. He's back. Here we go. Volume one memorized. Mm. He transcribed the manual. He he transcribed it. The physical copy into an ebook. He did it himself. Damn. Full on voice acting? Yo, my god. <gasps> I, I was hoping he would just do the voice acting himself. Yes. All for you. All for you. Yeah. This fucking guy. Last time, remember what he did? He was searching for the four leaf clover all night long for Hakari and, uh, and Inda. And now he transcribed the entire book for her. Oh my god. The Riz is insane. The Riz is insane. I get it. I get it why people are saying no. He's not lucky to have the girls. The girls are lucky to have Rentaro. It's those fucking eyebrows, man. It's those eyebrows, man. Look at them. So manly, so bold, so masculine. I love you. That's too soon, right? What is it? No! Already? You're crying on top of the This is so good. And I just dis I dismissed her calling her that she's just a lolly. This is I'm getting a little teary eyed from just from the backstory of her mom saying, Why don't you speak? No 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 no, you're one of the maidens. We got a hundred maidens coming up. She's one of the hundred. No, I can't cry now! I gotta save it for Nano! I can't believe this lolly broke me! Head pat. You go for a kiss? Are you going for a kiss or <laughs> Imagine if hot cut your Indo is around here, bro. Oh my god. <laughs> the knight and the princess? What happened? Did the knight show up? Did he kidnap her? This show is so much more than just like this dumb etchy harem that people might think it is and i'm not gonna lie there is a lot of etchy moments but goddamn this is a good episode and you're the third hello <laughs> welcome to the gang no no this is just the third one guys what kind of response is that she is happy that she didn't get dumped while he's getting more girls into the harem. We, he loves them all, all equally. Very interesting analogy. But he does prove it with his actions, though. You don't need to kill yourself, dude. He really is a man among men, though. I'm telling you, it's those bushy eyebrows. A love rectangle. But the geometry shape is gonna keep evolving, bro. Where is Nano? Nano better be next. No, don't order the knife. Don't order the knife. No, no, no. You don't need to. There we go, though. We got three girls. I'm not gonna lie, I did dismiss the lolly as saying she's just the lolly, but she's more than just the lolly. She is a precious girl that we need to protect. That backstory was pretty sad. It, it, it just, whenever a girl's getting bullied in the bathroom like that, it's kind of sad. But the moment that the mom showed up and started saying, why won't you talk? And she broke into tears. I'm like, oh my fucking God. This show is actually about to get me and it actually did. Now, I have a lot of expectations for Nano. I think that might be a bad thing because because I had no expectations for the lolly, I think this is why this episode went beyond my expectations. Because I have so much you know, anticipation for Nano, I feel like I'm gonna get let down at this point. I've built her up too much. I haven't even seen her. What am I even thinking about? Anyways, fantastic episode as usual. But hey, if you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.